Hi, I'm Regina Barr, speaker, coach, and consultant, and today I'd like to talk about using office politics as a leadership skill. While most people concentrate on the destructive aspects of office politics, we're focusing on how they can fuel your way up the corporate ladder. First of all, accept that leadership by its very nature is political. If you have your eye on the corner office, you need to be a leader as well as act like one. This means that you need to master the game of office politics. Most organizations see politically savvy people as leader material. One of the biggest mistakes that women make is to constantly downplay their contributions. This is a short-sighted approach that signals the powers that be that you aren't ready to lead. Giving yourself and others credit when it's due is something that every woman with a desire to succeed needs to develop. Secondly, it's vital to get credit immediately. Waiting till your review in six or eight months or end of year is just too late. It's imperative that you tell those in charge what you did and the result in a very matter-of-fact yet non-boastful way. You could say something like, I'm very happy the new project that I managed has made such a positive impact on the company. I'd like to discuss how we can further leverage that relationship to bring in additional revenue. I always advise my clients to let leaders know they're responsible for projects that positively impact the company. I help them create opportunities that demonstrate proactive thinking by trying to maximize the efforts already extended. By consistently letting people know of your successes, you're communicating your value and showing decision makers that you're thinking with a CEO mindset. I'm Regina Barr, speaker, coach, and consultant, sharing the CEO mindset. If you or your organization needs to help in the career department or uh, other areas, please contact me. I have a full range of assessments, tools, and programs that offer the boost that you're looking for. Thank you.